stints on Big Brother, Iranian state-funded TV jobs and accusations of anti-Semitism. Meet the UK's newly appointed MP, George Galloway. George Galloway, one of the UK's most divisive politicians, has just won the Rochdale by-election. The controversial ex-Labour, now Workers' Party of Britain MP, will be back sitting in Parliament for the third time. But who actually is George Galloway? And how did he get to where he is now? Galloway had been active in the Labour Party since his teens and won his first seat in the Commons in 1987. Galloway met the Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein in 1994 and famously said to him, Sir, I salute your courage, your strength, your indefatigability, and I want you to know we are with you. He was strongly opposed to the Iraq war and heavily criticised Tony Blair and George W. Bush for their part in the conflict. All of this eventually led to him being expelled from Labour in 2003. After Labour, he joined the Respect Party, which focused on opposing the war in Iraq and won the seat of Bethnal Green and Bow from Labour's Una King in 2005. He later also ran in the Poplar and Limehouse constituency and in Bradford West. King, however, called out the Bethnal Green election as one of the dirtiest campaigns that British politics had ever seen and said she faced anti-Semitic abuse during the build-up. And while all this was going on, Galloway became a contestant on Celebrity Big Brother in 2006, during which he pretended to be a cat and dressed up in a leotard. King's accusations are not the only claims of anti-Semitism Galloway has faced, and similar questions led to him being fired from talk radio in 2019. George Galloway has been vocal about his support for Palestine. He's worked with Press TV since 2008, an Iranian state-run TV TV channel and has been pictured with two leaders of Hamas. So in his Rochdale campaign, an area with a high proportion of Muslim voters, he hammered home his support for Gaza and focused on the Israel-Hamas conflict in his campaign. Galloway has, however, always denied any accusations of anti-Semitism. Labour abandoned its candidate in Rochdale over a different anti-Semitism scandal, leading George Galloway to victory and for him to claim his seat in Westminster once more. 